Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to wire a hot tub pump correctly. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so if you found this video, then you're obviously looking how to wire a hot tub pump correctly. So before we get going on the actual wiring, let's just make sure that if you are replacing a pump in your hot tub, or even if you're building your own and it's a brand new one, that we've got the right thing for our tub. So the first thing that you're going to want to check is if you are replacing one, that you're replacing it like for like. Is it the same horsepower? Is it the same voltage? That's important. Does it have the same frame size? So the frame size is the spacing at the bottom of the pump where it bolts to your hot tub. If you have a 56 frame pump, don't replace it with a 48 because the 48 will not fit on the bolts. So you've got to look at that frame size if you are replacing a pump. Make sure it is like for like. How many speeds does it have? Is it a single? Is it a dual? Okay, so you've got to have all of this information you can interchange brands, but keep those specs the same. So replace a two horsepower with a two horsepower, a dual speed with a dual speed, and you'll be just fine. Okay, so let's jump in and look at the wiring. Now, before we do that, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos like this every single week, whole bunch of shorts. Everything that I do on this channel is all about DIY hot tubs and plunge pools. Okay, so hot tub pump wiring. You're either gonna have three wires for a single speed pump or four wires for a dual speed pump. Now, don't be confused with four wires being the four wires from your split system if you're in America and you're looking to get a 230 volt feed from your 115 volt split system, it is not the same. So each of those wires does a different thing. Pretty straightforward. So on a single speed pump, you're gonna have three wires. Now those three wires will be a neutral, a live, and a ground. On a dual speed pump, you're gonna have a neutral, you're gonna have a low speed live, you're gonna have a high speed live, and you're gonna have a common. Okay, so those are the different terminals that you're gonna have on that pump. However, do not, and I can't stress this enough, do not rely on the colors matching. The reason that I say this is whilst there are standard colors for our cables, and you can see these behind me here on the video, manufacturers change these all the time. Whether it's the manufacturer of the cord that you're attaching to the pump, whether it's the manufacturer of the pump itself, don't rely on matching a red cord to a red cord on the pump. It will not guarantee that it will work, and you could actually end up with more problems than you started with if you rely solely on matching the colors. So if you can't match the colors, what have you got to do? Well, you've got to look at the pin-out diagram from your spa pack. Now, the pin-out diagram will look something like this. It will clearly state which pins are low speed, high speed, neutral, and ground. And this is the best way that you can possibly make sure that you're gonna wire in that hot tub pump correctly. Don't rely on the colors, look at the pin-outs. From those pinouts, you're then gonna to want to go over to the pump, and on the pump itself, there will be a small diagram, and that looks something like this. And it will tell you what each of the terminals on the pump does. What you then need to do is trace the wires back to make sure that, for example, pin one is coming out of the spar pack and it's going to the correct terminal on the pump. Also, on a spar pack, don't rely on the pack being in the right orientation. What do I mean by that? Well, when you look at the pinout diagrams, you'll see that, as you can see behind me, there is a flat spot on two out of the four connectors. Look for that flat spot, and then you can work out the number of that particular pin. 
I've seen this several times where a manufacturer has put them on the board the opposite way round. So you think that pin one is at the top when it's actually at the bottom. So don't rely on the diagram being correct. Look for the actual flat spot on that connector that's gonna be connecting and plugging into the board. Every manufacturer is different. So if you have a Balboa system, the pinouts will be different from a Gecko system, from an ACC. So you must have the diagram that matches your particular model. If you can't find it, it's normally on the underside of the front cover of your spa pack. If it's not there, get online, get searching for the manual. Even if you've got an older pack, you can generally find the, the manuals which will have the pinout diagrams. And that is the most important thing that you can do. I'm gonna recap again. Don't rely on the colors matching on the cord to the pump. More than often than not, they don't. Go for the pinouts. Make sure that pin one is going to the right connection, regardless of the color on the pump and you will be just fine. If you've got a single speed pump, you will have three cords to match. If you've got a dual speed pump, you will have four. And again, remember on those dual speed pumps, it is not two high lives. You've got a low live for low speed and you've got a high speed live as well. Hopefully I've not confused you too much. If you do need some help, hit me up in the comments, get in touch via the website, always happy to help. As always, I appreciate the view, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.